Hello. So, good afternoon. Sorry, naputod po yung ating kanina. But good morning po sa ating teachers and good morning to all our educators. To also to other viewers po ng uh, Vival Publishing. So, uh, we first of all, thank you for Vival for share, uh, for promoting this platform kasi um, during this quarantine period, um, marami pong um, na-challenge na teachers kasi all the while we're used to na kasama natin yung mga students natin, we're in a school, busy checking papers, tapos yung period na dapat nagpe-prepare tayo for exams, uh, bigla tayo na-interrupt kasi nagkaroon tayo ng quarantine. But I remember that the quarantine is something good kasi it's always for for us. First of all, uh, thumbs up po sa ating lahat ng teachers. Um, stay strong po at sana sumunod tayo sa um, kumbaga kung ano yung mga reminders sa atin ng government. First and foremost, kamusta pala yung mga teachers natin? Kamusta po kayo? Um, I hope that you are still okay during this period. Kasi challenging yun, di ba? Yung isa, dalawang araw mo wala ng pasok, that's okay. Pero pag medyo tumagal na, um, we're used to working a lot, so medyo kakaiba sa atin. Um, um, tayo magsimula. Um, Itong platform po na ito inaset para medyo mabawasan yung ating anxiety over uh, the coronavirus. So medyo, I know a lot of you have ideas at saka yung mga sinishare natin politically, uh, mga feelings natin kasi medyo magulo at saka maraming nangyayari. Pero dito sa platform, can we try po at least na hindi muna tayo uh, mag-iisip ng so much on the politics and the things that are happening. Medyo, let's think good po muna. Let's think a little bit positive. When we look at our social media, nakakapagod kasi ang daming negative, ang daming nangyayari. Hindi Maganda, pero at this platform, maybe for a few minutes, for 30 minutes together, let's try to be a little bit more positive and think of ways on how we can share our best practices as teachers, kung paano natin ini-entertain ang sarili natin, kind of productively at saka yung not so productively. So, um, let's just wait for a few minutes. Tapos, um, another rule, let's try to remove politics saka yung mga negative things happening around uh, for the 30 minutes. The other po is feel free. Siyempre, hindi lang naman, there's no one single person na best source of everything. And we just, uh, we balance, uh, put up this platform for natin sa para din tulungan. You remember that teaching is all about sharing. Teaching is about looking at the best practices and looking at what works for us. Kasi sometimes, maaring yung sinishare natin mamaya, maaring nag-work for some teachers, pero para sa Okay, so that's one. Um, is the, let's try to be not negative. Let's be positive. Let's um, share our best practices. Let's share um, what we know. If you want to share something, feel free to do it. And then third po is also let's smile and let's be a little bit happy. They move a little bit of the negativity. Parang for a while, sabi nga natin, be positive and let's try to be helpful to each other. Um, I know that anything that we post in social media, sometimes marami kong magkakamag-anak na nag-aaway at saka friends. Marami ako nakita ang nag-unfriend ngayon because of political ideologies. Education should be a neutral ground natin for today. So, yun po. So, as we begin po, um, saying hi to, again, to all the teachers, educators, at saka yung mga medyo na-stranded po sa ating house. First trivia po, first, uh, no, before we begin yung ating mga things to do, um, maybe some of you have researched the word quarantine. Ang quarantine po ay galing sa isang Italian word which means 40, 40 for reading 40 days. So, yung Quarantine hindi po siya bago kasi imagine quarantine actually started the word uh, 40, meaning the 40 days na yung mga ships are on dock. Um, sa, pag nakaland sila sa isang lugar, um, they are asked to dock muna for 40 days, hindi lalabas kasi baka makahawa sila. So in the same way, ayun din po yung purpose ng quarantine natin. Please stay at home um, unless kailangan lumabas to buy something or to do something really important. Um, let's do our share kasi marami pong nagsasacrifice natin. So um, if you have the time, say a little quick, a quick prayer po sa ating mga frontliners. Um, I have some relatives din po na naka-feel ngayon. So we're all saying prayers for everyone. Um, kakilala o hindi. Because everybody's doing a lot of things. Um, maswerte po tayo na we are at our homes and we are safe. So let's just also do our share. So sige po, let's begin. So ano po ba ang ating ano, thinking about as teachers? Stressful na po ang life ng teachers. Sino ba ang hindi nasa-stress 
hindi lang teacher. When we go to our test papers, to check it, to attend to our students who feel bad, and then to deal with our policies. So, meron ka ng mental health issues. Good to always think positive. Pero sana din po, um, even during this time, let's take this time to relax. Let's think to think about this time na, yun nga eh, um, we're not so busy with a lot of our schoolwork. Some of us are still doing work from home, teaching from their um, from their um, homes online or doing messages to our students. So, pero meron tayong time to relax a bit. And then, siguro ito yung hinihihin natin na time. Nung tayo nagtuturo, we're all saying, Wala ba akong time mag, para sa sarili ko? Wala ba akong time para mag-isip? So this is the time na pwede natin siyang gawin. So mental health po. Because teachers, you cannot give what you do not have. So let's all share our best practices. Let's all share our love. And then to our students, um, sana din let's also help each other. Um, marami din sa ating students na nahirapan. So sana will also be a kind of while we teach them and enlighten them with the issues, let's also help them to deal with what is happening around so yun yun po. So let's let's start po. Um, I have a little bit of mantra. I like to use the four L's. Ma L or me. No lang green mind ah. We talk about always used to adapt, which is like to, to live, uh, to to learn, um, to laugh, and to wala na kalimutan ko yung isa. Wait lang. To live, to 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 live, to love, to learn, and to laugh. So I'll use also this mantra as we go along kung ano yung mga pwede natin gawin as teachers. I also ask permission from some teachers to share what they have been doing. Kaya nga kayo, feel free also to share what what you also are doing right now. Kasi baka makatulong din po sa ating fellow teachers there. Okay, so let's begin. So first, um, yung live. Live is kind of trying to to do things. Um, some of us work from home, so we're still doing our regular checking of papers, updating our students, online platform, para maglearn. Yung merong mga may LMS dyan. Then you are also teaching your students through the online media. Pero syempre, hindi naman as if kaharap natin yung sujante, that our passion for doing things is different. We also try to look at this um, experience to look for resources for our students. So continue lang. Para sa iba, Maraming hindi natin nakikita physically ang students natin, so continue. The other is also living, doing something productive. So, so from some teachers that I am uh, na, I am entertained that to kind of learn something new. Um, na, na, what do you call this? Na, na, this time to cook. So sana po, ano, like my friend, uh, si Sir June Guevara. Wait, let me just check. Hindi ko po alam kung paano. Kung mag, paano mag-share ng ng screen. Yeah, he does cooking right now and he he kind of flashes what he um, cooks uh, every day. Some of us may think kind of insensitive kasi iba nagugutom. Pero syempre for us, it's our way also na maaliw yung sarili natin and to show that we are making the most of um, what we are doing. Um, some of the things kasi like cooking is very uh, good for us. Hindi naman you need to be a very good cook kasi merong mga two-minute videos on um, um, how to cook, like cooking a cake in uh, the microwave oven. I tried one yesterday. I suggested my, my friend, uh, Sir Ferdinand uh, Ligot, and it was really good. It was really as good as the cakes that you find in the store, but it would make you, because the yung effort na ikaw yung nagluto um, adds to yung parang experience of uh learning about it. Parang hirap mag-share. O sige, habang hinahanap ko yung, kasi hindi ko po ma-share yung, yung ano, I'll just show the the page to you. That he cooks his sticks, he cooks his sticks, and then nakita ko yung creativity of some teachers na syempre, some of us, we are, we are stuck to eating, sabi nila, yung mga delata. Be grateful tayo, we still have delata. Nakita, we see the creativity, so be creative with your cooking. So, pwedeng mag, ano, pwedeng, pwede palang, gawing creative ang pagluluto ng hotdog or ham, makakagawa na kayo ng book ng 101 ways to cook um, parang canned, canned uh, and yun yung beef loaf or like 50 ways to cook your hotdog. So, pwede tayo mag-experiment. Look at what you have in your house. Try to experiment. Yung, cook. yung mga hindi po marunong magluto, take this opportunity to learn how to cook. Alam po, as you know, Baka po may questions kayo while we continue. So, learn to cook. It's, in, it's an opportune time po. Hindi ko ma-share yung, yung uh, 
yung screen ko so that you can see some of those that I kind of fun. But I'll, I'll search them na lang in my Facebook here. So let me see. So while we're, you're also learning to cook, you also try to, minsan, hindi naman tayo lahat marunong talaga or probably some of us are afraid to touch our oven. Pwede naman din pong, um, what do you call this, um, mag manood kayo kung paano maluto yung iba. Or if you have kids at home, try to teach them uh, simple recipes on how to cook, kung paano po mag, um, paano, how they're going to uh, teach your kids how to do a simple sandwich or, or how to how to cook rice. So, ito din yung time the parents have a bonding time with their children on teaching them new skills. So, take that opportunity as well. Yeah. And then, so, so yun, that, try to learn, that. that's one. The other is, syempre, sa kayo sa bahay. So, marami po sa atin ang nagsawa na sa pagpupunta sa iba't ibang virtual tour ng house. Like, you went to your bedroom, your uh, no, living room, sabi nga sa um, take the opportunity to also clean your cabinet. So, parang raise your inner Maria Kondo. Linisin nyo yung inyong house um, of arranging my clothes according to color. So that it will be easier for me to look for clothes. Ito yung time nyo para tiglupin, matutong magtiglup at tiglupin yung mga cabinet. Teach your kids also to fold their clothes, to fix their clothes according to their use. It's also a time to look at your closet, clean up, tapos check ninyo kung ano yung pwede nyo i- um, oh, dito, i-donate. I- uh, donate. Parang Maria Kondo, no? Don- what do you throw away? What do you need? Donate. And what do you give away? And what do you keep? So, ito yung time then na we are reminded of what is essential and what we need in our lives. Ito yung time also that you are also wearing your pambahay every day. In from your work from home, pwede ka nakapajama, hindi ka na nag-worry on what you wear. So, take this opportunity to also sort out your closets, your shoes closets and everything um, so that you can you can actually uh, maximize your space and also teach the people around you to also give back. So, donate. Kunyari, if you have a lot of books that you don't need anymore, please do donate. Po. Then, we also have, ano po, so when you also clean up your house, looking at your kitchen, yung inyong mga closet, maglinis na, tulungan yung mga tets. Also, look for other things that you can do while you're, while um, you're dating. Like, I have some friends who do volunteer work. Um, wait lang. So, who do a lot of volunteer work, like my friend, si Chris Virai. Um, I'd like to share kasi their, their sites. Wait, let me check. Kasi I have a moment. I prepared the slides, kaya lang I can't share my screen right now. I mean, I'm not really, this is my first time to do a live feed again. So, I prepared a PowerPoint actually, but I can't seem to show it to you kasi it, because of the FB Live limitations. So, yung isa dun is, yun nga, try to, try to look at something purposeful. There are calls for volunteerism. If you think you're healthy and safe, there are schools like uh, the one that my friend Chris Viray is in is um, looking for, is doing volunteer works in repacking and in doing a lot of, in in repacking things. So, maganda din po na maging involved for some of them. So, I applaud the teachers who are also partly on the front lines for loading. Okay. So, for the meantime, may questions po ba kayo? Let, let me check the browse the comments. So, it keep safe po to everyone. Also, the teachers, reminder po, you see whatever platform you're using to watch this, whether it's uh, your phone or your uh, computer or TV, um, keep safe po kayo. Let me just check po ha, kasi I, I want to share my screen with you. So, very well waiting po. Let's see. Well, well, I'm trying to figure out how to share the my screen with you. Let's look at other things. Um, Try to do something that you love. I, I've seen some teachers po na who post about binge watching, um, binge watching, yung nagbe-bench watch po ng ating Netflix. So, usong-usong ngayon yung hashtag Chloe or Kerlash uh, Landing on You. So, ito din yung inyong time para mag-reunite sa inyong mga favorite. Nothing wrong with watching, nothing wrong with bench watching din po because it also helps um, parang uplift you and then be, be a little bit happy. Let me check lang po kasi hindi, since I can't share my screen, I'll just look for the people uh, online. Ano? So, one of the people that I like um, because he's ano, he's uh, very creative is my friend Yan, Sir Freddy De Leon. What 
Sir Freddy De Leon is one of the teachers and also a principal of a school here uh, in Caloocan. One of the things that Sir Freddy does during this time is actually he writes a lot of poetry. Yeah, so hindi ko kasi I I did the slides but I can't seem to share my screen with you. So Mr. Freddy does poetry and he does symbolic ones as well. So medyo malalim po ang poetry ni Sir like he did a poem called Rambo and Ipman which talks about the current uh, situation that we have in terms of uh, NCOV and then the NCOV rate, uh, the NCOV testing as well. So yung mga uh, writer natin na teachers it would be helpful also for you to also try to write. For those aspiring writers, maari din po tayong sumulat. I'll just read the excerpt from Sir Freddy's line, ano? Kahapon lang nagulantang ang bayan, ginupo ni Doc ang ng kakaibang tam, uh, tambala na sa na virus at kasi nawalingan, pasyenteng nilihim ang biyaya sa ibang bayan. So, instead of just ranting or doing things or talking about the negativity, si Doc found a creative way on how to... Um, how to be productive during this time. Meron din ako, I like also to share one of the creative things that the uh, one of the teachers at I, by the way, I asked for the consent of the people that I'm, I'm trying to uh, to feature right now. And apologies because I prepared slides. However, seems I can't share my, It's I don't know if it's my computer or it's the Facebook itself. I can't seem to share my screen with you. Yeah. So the other one I'd like to show, because sometimes I've seen a lot of teachers in like TikTok. Sino po yung teacher dito na nag-TikTok ha? Yan. Tsaka yung mga ano. I, nothing wrong. I don't have a TikTok account yet. So, but I know a lot of teachers who have a lot of, uh, who have TikTok accounts. And it's it's good for you that you're also looking for ways to entertain yourself. One of the creative ways or things that I saw in the TikTok is um, there's a teacher. Uh, wait, yan. There's a teacher and then there are students of a certain group, like uh, volleyball group, who also did a creative uh, uh, creative post using the TikTok platform. Hindi, hindi po ako bayad ni TikTok, ha? Um, and then this is what, I don't know how to make this very visible. So you can follow the teacher, she's Carmela Magpili. And then her, uh, her students post is about, uh, so she did, they did a post using TikTok. So lahat ng players, what they did was they did a particular dance tapos ginawa nila the entire team. So hindi necessary na when yan. So hindi So it's not necessary kayo lang yung nasa TikTok. You can also do a platform of sharing. Hindi ibig sabihin na you're not with each other physically, then you cannot do something like this. Okay? Nice coach. So you can look for them. I think her handle, uh, the handle of the one you shared, this is uh, Gail Manali of a uh, volleyball team in a school in Manila. So you can uh, actually uh, use the platform, TikTok, not just to also but also, parang meron ako din nakikita mga posts na father, daughter, at saka yung mga friends doing multiple TikToks nagsashare. So, also, that's a good way to bond with each other. One of my other friends, um, although I can't simplify the post, it's si Sir Rafael, uh, yeah, who also shared parang a dance that he did a few years back. So, it's a way for us to show our human side to our students that we can, hindi lang tayo nasa harap ng classroom, we don't just teach, but in our also light moments, we know how to dance. We know how to sing. We, we have other talents because teachers are one of the most talented that we have right now. Um, so what else? You also can also do some sabi natin, do something you love. So you can actually watch, bench watch, yung kanina na mention natin, Netflix, YouTube. But ako kasi I like to watch things that are kind of uh, a learning experience. One of my favorite channels that I subscribe to in YouTube is actually TED It. So I learned about um, new things like, so I think I put it here. So one of the favorite channels that I have is after the TED Ed. So it's a big one. So TED Ed channel, so it's a screen, so it's a Yeah, it's it's actually um, sharing about like the one that I just recently watched was about the scientists being changed chemical in this, uh, in this movie. It's about 
yung and the environment um yung the silent spring of racial fashion and then imaginary and so these are very short videos so it's not boring it's it's very creative be done parang to boost upon Nigeria because a lot of my friends ask me bakit ang dami ko daw alam na trivia it's because i like to watch clips movies and i like to read about things na um can help me learn uh, things yeah. Because again, um, it's very important that we use this time wisely. Um, another is when you, you try to learn. You try to learn as you sabi nga natin, you do something you love, but what if you can learn something new? Kung na, kanina natuto kayo mag-cook, why don't you also read? You have to research your lessons. Sometimes you say we don't have enough time to do our lesson plans. We don't have time to look for activities for our students. But ito, it's a good way or a good um, opportunity this time that we also sh uh, Take time to read and look at the material. Sometimes the reading can be purposeful. Sometimes it's also entertaining. Um, yeah, like I know Vibal has also uh, online ebooks. Yung sa chicketing books nila. I don't know if it's still active because I have some of the books that I like reading for for them. To take your time to also read okay. and uh, lighten up. Because yung uh, being a student. Wait, I may look. Being a being a teacher does not mean that we will also not be as young. So, ito yun. By the way, I'll also read a story as part of my, you know, my uh, storytelling group. I'm plugging na pala my friends from uh, Tellers and Ala Tap Tap Storytellers. Uh, Rodriguez, wait for Sorry, I forgot to plug my computer. So also, please stay tuned to one of my friends. I think he has a live show, live feed also in Vibal's website for a storytelling session. Some of my teacher friends also do a lot of storytelling sessions. Kasama po doon, yung mag-storytell po doon si Storyteller Rich uh, Rodriguez, who's also my friend, a part of the storytelling group that I am in, which was Alitap-Tap Storytellers Philippines, and um, Ang Pinoy Storytellers. So, so he also has a session, live session. Please do watch it on Friday. By the way, my friends in Alitap Tap Storytellers Philippines will be launching um, every day's, every hour storytelling later. So we will read children's storybooks. So sana po magstay tuned din po kayo. I'll share the 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 link din po uh, in my Slack at adin dito po so that you can also try to look at creative ways how to tell stories. Kasi po when we tell stories, well, don't just read the stories. Be creative. Like, um, when we told this uh, Mahiwagang Kamiset a few years back, we tried to integrate song in this one. Maybe we can develop a webinar on how to do creative storytelling, like to online, especially during this period. Because again, this is one of the things that I put it. Creativity takes courage. So at this time, we naman pung sisita sa atin because we're all um, in our households and we are a bit safe so we can do the things that we can do. Then we also try to look at uh, other websites. May mga virtual websites po tayo that you can go, like ngayon, lagi na yung sasabi, pero sana ito na yung time meron kayo, uh, that you can do a virtual tour of some museums that you will not be able to go to, like the Louvre Museum. Ngayon po bawal dun sa Europe na site na because there's an outbreak, but you can actually go there because there's an online site, uh, which is um, dun sa kanila online tours for the Louvre Museum that you can actually go to the museum for free. And there are other uh, sites that you can actually go to um, that you can you can actually look at the museum na parang you are there. That's the beauty of technology. You can actually go to some websites. And then, wait lang po. Baka naman po may any of our viewers right now know how to share the screen kasi I don't seem to know how to share the screen. If you could be of help so I can share the site, the, the other, the list, that the to-do list uh, with you. So continuing on, um, as you take a virtual tour, why don't you also look at the free books, the free ebooks that you can download? There's for years already. There's what we call Project Gutenberg, which is um, free book, which is a free book platform. They try to digitize books. Um, yun po yung isang magandang paraan din po for you to download free books. And ngayon po there are a lot of platforms who allow you to download things for free during the lockdown and the quarantine. So download po tayo, read it, 
if you don't have time to read it right now, maybe later, para at least you, you, you maximize this period where a lot of paid websites are actually allowing their readers or their followers to download free materials. Kasi dati, that's paid. Pero because of the this period, a lot of the sites are offering these things to download for free. So, pakiano na rin po. Take that opportunity. Ganun po, as I said, you can actually ask questions while we're doing this. And then those who have a suggestion, I'm still trying to figure out how to share my screen. So, kung meron pong nakakaalam, baka pwede po kayong mag-share din sa akin how do I go about this. Um, so, what else? What else do we need to go about? Try to learn a new language. Um, sometimes you complain. Kayo, you watch the subtitles in your telenovelas. Why don't you try po to learn like Korean during this period? Use your YouTube or your other online platform to learn a new language. I'm trying to learn German right now because of the new work I'm going to go to. Um, so, ako din, so try to learn Spanish, German, any language that you have. I mean, you can actually learn that in a couple of weeks' time, at least the basics. So, try to learn a new language uh, during this period. Um, try to also interact with your students. I laud teachers. Yung po, salud po kami sa iyo. Ginyo, kasi a lot of you are also doing uh, this platform to chat with your students, with your fellows. And then, daming shared na nagbe-video call sila. So, it doesn't, maganda po that we live in a time that you can actually communicate even without the physical presence. Kasi, again, kaya nga correct natin, ah, it's not supposed to be physical, uh, social distance. It's supposed to be physical distance because you can still socialize with each other during this period. You can also use this time to observe what other people are doing. Like our friend, uh, kanina nga, di ba, one of the things that we can do is to be creative. And we, we do the things that we love and learn a lot of things. Like my friend, si Sir uh, Paul Remo, who also does a lot of painting. Let me just, ano po, uh, let me show you his site. Kasi nga, sana, I can share my screen with you. Um, he does his, for start to quarantine, he worked on his paintings that, that he has not been able to work Parang na siya kasi because of the business of his work. But because of his, um, because of this time, he's now able to go back. Ayan, si Sir Paul Remo. Wait, I don't know. Ayan. He actually does, he has just now gone back to, yeah, to his painting. Ayan, nagpaalam po ako sa mga taong minabanggit ko ha. And then he's, he's, he's gone, like, he has this painting that he, he stopped for a while. Pero binalikan niya and he's actually been able to work on it. So, very talented si Sir Paul Remo. One of the teachers also po na, na, ano, na, na maga very good and I just found out. I, I see that it is ma'am, si ma'am, si ma'am Sheila May Otida. Okay. Si ma'am Sheila May naman, she also has, she actually came up now with her site to feature her work. So, baka yung mga talented te teachers natin, um, wait, Sheila May oh. she, Arty, you can also come up with your uh, yeah, you can also come up with your uh, new sites to feature your artworks then it's the teacher Sheila May and again, I asked permission naman to share she has her site where she actually posts her artwork, so she's very talented. So she takes the time now to go back to her passion, other passion or other skill to feature her, um, yan, yan yung mga artworks niya. So she's kind of post what she's been able to do with this period. So yung mga aspiring sa inyo na artist, remember, no artist is born overnight. So if you have the talent, or if you want to have the talent, practice also makes perfect. Try to learn new art, so I mean, Kung hindi man YouTube, try and error when we do our artworks. If you're not really as good in painting, pwede nyo din gawin yung ginawa ng isang teacher friend namin, si Sir JC Obaldo, na instead na siya yung nagpa-painting, he watches and he posts the pictures of his brother um, na yun naman yung nagpa-painting, si, si Sir JC. I, I, I'd like to show the picture of his, uh, yung ginawa ni Sir JC na and, he, and one of the things I like about Sir Jay-Z right now is he's doing his, uh, what do you call this, his uh, throwback pictures. Kasi he's, 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 he's yung pa nga yun, yun, try to look at reminent, uh, as you value your family. Yeah, you also try to look at ano yung, 
pwede niyong pag-bond sa family. So ito, even if he didn't do this, he posted the work of his brother. So pwede din panoorin niyo yung mga loved ones niyo in doing some things that they are really good at. What else? Also try to look at this time. So yung iba sa inyo, I know, a lot of the teachers are also trolls. Kasi mga teachers medyo mahilig sa balita, di ba? Good and bad. So take to this time also to troll in a positive way. As my friend joke, trollala, trollalu. So gawin natin yung pag-troll natin in a positive way. I, I also do some trolling some before with my students just to check up on how they are. So yung mga students ko na medyo, ano, take this time also to kamustahin sila. Hindi po ibig sabihin na even if we are not with our students right now, hindi po nang ibig sabihin na kakalimutan natin yung kanilang well-being. So if you see the post, that's why I troll the students sometimes. I try to look up how they are. If, if I see a lot of negative things in their posts, then I say hi to, to them. Another is also try, because you try to troll your students and try to find out who they, um, how they are, also try to say hi. And then out also kamustahin how they are doing in this period. Converse with them. Kasi again, connection is very important. Especially during this time that mental health is, a, is also very, mental health issues are very prevalent. Um, I know that a lot of you are still doing a lot of work. So also try to think a little bit positive about how we do things. So we have to be grateful that we are also working at home and trying to learn something new. There's a lot of magic that we can do with our households in the limits of the four walls ng ating bahay. Kasi sa, sa ating passion that we have, uh, with what we teach. Some of us teach because we really need that connection with our students. So, hindi natatapos yung connection. Um, even if we are on quarantine. So, yun nga. Eh. Another thing is, sabi nga natin, try to laugh, to learn something new, is try to learn a new musical instrument. So, in actually in my room, I have uh, several musical instruments before. But, I put down yung iba kasi pinahiram ko sa baba yung iba. So, like, I'm not really good, but I have a bongo here with me. And then my, I have a drum, my drum. So, um, yung, yung hindi ko time na hindi makapag, you do don't. You can also try to look at videos and how to learn how to play musical instruments. Because take this time also to learn, um, take that opportunity to learn how, um, new, to learn, kasi remember Einstein nga eh, Einstein before, he knows how to play the violin. If he doesn't know something, he plays the the violin and he learns something new. So parang that triggers the side of your brain. And then he, after he plays, he finds a solution to the problem he's thinking about. So music also helps us. So try to learn a musical instrument. Don't say na I'm not musical inclined. Lahat. Iba, learning can come easy to some people. Pero sa iba, it takes effort. But you can... But but uh, through hard work, we can learn how to do things. Sometimes, mayroong mga iba nakakainggit, ang bilis nilang matuto mag-guitar, mag-piano, but it doesn't mean that we cannot learn. We, we may not be as fast as them or with mastery, but at least we learn something new and we work hard for something. Okay, so other things po ba na, na you want to know? And also the thing you have in the household. Diba sa atin household, and then look at the things that you do to entertain yourself. Who would have imagined, nakita ko sa bodega namin, I still found my props for when I was teaching. Yan. And then I used, and then um, to be creative with what they think in the house. Yung mga teacher may nakita ko but I haven't asked for permission to post is that this teacher actually did a lot of modeling. Modeling ha, kasi he, while cleaning up the closet, mm, idea. Ang ginawa ng teacher is that she puts up this clothes, uh, parang minomodel closet niya. So baka yun. One of the teachers can also viral post on that. Yung other is also try to look at um, the, the, the new things that you have na dun sa bahay ninyo na pwede pang magamit in a creative way. Ang teachers kasi, sorry, uh, sorry for the term, may pagkabasorero tayo. Um, meaning, para wala pa yung tinatapon. So this is also an opportune time na Tingnan nyo how can you can creatively fashion the things that you have in your house to be something useful into your classroom. You must scraps of paper nyo, ito na yung panahong gawin nyo siyang confetti o gawin nyo siyang mga maliliit na stars to give for your students when you come back. Um, when, when, when school resumes also. And yun, yun. So, and at this point, I have other ideas or I'll do a wrap up later, but 
if you have any other su ideas or suggestions. I'm also trying to figure out still up to the last minute how to share my screen. Baka po merong madunong dyan, pakishare po sa akin yung instructions and how. Yun nga. Um, I've also found out na in the house, when we have a lot of things or props, ito, mad madalas ko pong gamitin. Type po dun sa mga teachers that I had talks with, the ones in Bulacan, um, Midsayap, uh, in uh, Tebatangas, yung mga teacher in tune po, hi po. Matatandaan niyo po ba ito? This is one of the props that I usually teach when I do the workshops. Kung nakakaalam po, this is an elder one. So, yung magic po that we have in as teachers, hindi po siya nakawala. So, sana let's use that uh, creatively also here in our households. Um, it's also the time that we also live in our spirits as children. So, ulitin natin. Ha? I'll just do a small recap before we go. So, mukhang walang nagtatanong. Eh. So, this is a time but the, again, nothing beats mental health, their mental health. Um, hindi natin, putting it in a Venn diagram, isipin ninyo na may mga bagay na wala tayong magagawa. We cannot do anything about uh, the number of days we are kept inside. We cannot do about our limited resources. But there are things that we can do something about. Do something about how we react to things or what ano yung mga nagagawa natin inside our household. So and how do we deal with the negativities and how do we deal with so, yun ang gawa natin ng paraan. For the things that we cannot do, we cannot stop you from ranting or talking about how you feel. That's your right. But it's also our right to also concentrate on the things that we can do productively also during this period. Try to deal with our board, own boredoms and our own negativities. So again, yung fomenta ko na four L's. Yeah. Is we learn to live and do something that is productive. Sabi natin kanina, learn to cook, clean the house, do volunteering work, uh, do your art, and then do something you binge watch on TV, you sleep, you mind, you mind, you dance and sing, and if you have two left feet, sayaw sayaw din tayo dyan para matuto at gumaling. We learn. We learn something new or we learn something that you already know. To the teachers na medyo nasuspend po ang let, time you po for more, more review so that you can do a bet, have a better score and a better passing rate when the, the, the reschedule of your let exam also, um, Para pag umano yung let exam ninyo, na-reschedule na, meron kayong more time. So take this time to review as well. And then read. Read on a lot of the things on your material, or even the things na hindi nyo area. Try to visit uh, that for your, for entertainment and for learning. Project Gutenberg to download books. Um, Can Academy for online learning. Balay nyo, matuto kayo ng something new. Take a virtual tour, like Louvre Museum, na meron mga websites po that you can take a virtual tour. Interact. Uh, time, hindi lang po online na people in your household. Try to learn it. And then the fourth L is laugh. So try to do something fun. If you want to troll something, basta no harm, ha? no harm to other people. Try to troll in a positive way. Try to do... Yeah, I don't have TikTok, but if you want to do TikTok or other snaps, go in your book. Yeah, if, uh, do some memes, funny memes for sana, something productive. Also, sometimes memes can be also productive. Like yung mga teachers that you po po, you, I, I think for some of you, I flash some of the memes that I did or jokes that I did in the context of learning. Yeah, like for example, um, uh, tawag dito, and yun, yung how yung mga sinasabi ko na prime and composite numbers yung number prime ka ba o composite number ka ba kasi pag prime number ay pag composite number yan yung mga babae kasi daw dito dami silang multiples marami sila but pag prime kayo lang tapos mga, mga ganung things so, try to look at the analogy of things na na that they can actually use for your classroom so time to be productive. and dami pong pwedeng gawin. Maybe some of the teachers here na online can share some of the other things na hindi natin abangit. Kasi you can also do, other than doing your artwork or reading, alam natin na marami tayong very tinas are very creative and looking for ways na um, they can entertain themselves or be resilient. So, a little reminder lang po for communication and coordination during this time of crisis. Let's be all be responsible in the use of our social media. Um, before you post or click or share something, marami kasi lalo na during this time, natuloy nag-aaway dahil doon. So, be responsible if you can limit also what you can to what needs to be shared. 
kasi po marami ding nag-off ngayon ng social media because na ng atmosphere, whether it's Twitter, it's Facebook. So sana let's use the platform also to share information, some of our thoughts, pero wag naman, for some people, it can have a negative effect as well. Then also take this time to chat with your loved ones. Uh, online, kamusta that you have not uh, talked to in a long time. Time to do productive work. And then when you communicate and coordinate during these times of crisis, sana po let's also maximize this time. Kasi we don't know if it will end um, like in the day that it pakapwede. Let's look forward to the time that we have. That silence that we have with each other, with ourselves, and with the, the people close to us. Let's maximize that, that time. So baka po may question. Uh, teachers, ba kayo po meron kayong other things that you do uh, that you have? Kasi ito, I like to share this. Sabi niya, there are better things ahead than any behind. After this COVID uh, concern, or after all the like these issues, this is an issue that later on we will laugh about, we will think about, we will share to our children the memories that we do. So, we have in our homes uh, productively and also look at forward to the things that we can actually do or share with other people. Nangatanong po, baka may questions. Baka mo lang nagtatanong po, no? Hi po. Itin bila, ba't ikaw po wala? Teachers po, yung sa, ano yun, Midsaya. The ones in Batangas po, sa Bulacan. Yung mga naturuan, yung, I just did a workshop. So, yun, hi. Ma, kamusta po, hope you're doing well during the time of quarantine. Stay safe po and follow na lang po tayo. Stay at home. Uh, it's also for your own good. Other questions po, before we actually wrap up, baka magalap na si Rival, ang tagal pa daw sa kanila. So, so, other questions po, other things that you want to share. So, meron po kayong hi po si uh, Sir Romo. Okay, thank you po for watching for the teachers who are still in tune. Um, any other questions po, I think? A any other things that you want to share or other things that you want to ask po at this point? Wala pa. Yeah. Okay, thank you po to the volunteers. Chris Bira is also an awardee nga po pala sa UN. He's also an uh, active volunteer. So, he's doing his work now to repack and help pack and repack food din po for uh, distribution to the frontliner. So, kung, kung hindi po tayo makakagawa nun physically, let's share our prayers to the people who are actually doing their, share, their role here. And our role right now is actually to stay at our homes and to uh, yeah, yeah, stay safe because if we're, we are also being parang part, wag nating maging part ng problem. Especially as teachers, let's set the example. Pag we tell our students to stay in, tapos makikita nila na tayo lumalabas. Then that's a bad um, thing for us. Any other questions for any things that you want to share? Baka yung other teachers po ay merong stream pong i-share uh, sa atin. Sorry, I, I, was, I prepared the PowerPoint, but uh, for some technical difficulties, I'm not able to share it with you because of, uh, because maybe FB is not, I don't know how to operate the live to share my own screen with you so that I can share the ones that I actually prepared. Any other comments po? Any other things that you want to um, share? Kayo, teachers, kamusta po kayo during this time? Meron pa po ba kayo iba? By the way, I saw one of the teachers who said kanina din also who also was playing Dota and yung mga clash things nyo. Nothing wrong. Pero remember, pagbalik ng pasukan, bawal ma-addict sa games kasi uh, we have a lot of time that we need for our students. So other questions, maybe, so that we can, if there's kupabula, we can actually end the So hi again to the teachers, also the teachers of mga dati kong napagtabuhan sa Miriam College and the teachers of Miriam College, New Valley as well. Hi to the teachers of uh, FU Senior High School, FU Roosevelt. Um, and then also to Miriam College, Mary Balsamad, and then also my friends and colleagues from the other uh, universities. Medyo, hands, uh, stay strong lang po tayo. Um, is there a prescribed length of the time to study online? There is actually very different reports on how much time should be given to study 
ang online. Ang pag-study ng online kasi ay iba-iba iba 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 ang learning styles. However, we are in a time of crisis. So that means we have parang no recourse but actually to use online learning as a platform. May prescribed time ba? The prescribed time for studying kasi is depending on the age of the students. The younger kasi the, the students are, the lesser time they should be engaged in parang sit down online learning things. But the older they get kasi, they can actually do learning by doing online. So pag online kasi if it's younger, try to do a little bit more play uh, rather than the serious work. Uh, yung medyo mas serious, do it for the older. Kasi remember, kids should have this time to play. At saka po, um, to those who are still continuing the studies, paalala po sa teachers, there's already a transportation table na nirelease ni DepEd. Pakisearch na lang po on those na hindi nakapag-exams for your grades. So, syempre, kahit na iniisip natin yung being productive during this time, nothing is more, is also, before we go to other, make sure we do our job. Uh, if they're asked to do go online for this, kung nagka-classic pa po kayo, gawin niyo po siya. So the length of time depende din po. Kasi again, our limitation is also online ng mga students. Not all your students. Intindihin po natin, hindi lahat ng sudyante natin has the capacity to um, capability ng online learning. Kasi yung iba, wala naman online sa house or limited sa paggamit ng phone, wala sila ng laptop. So medyo mahirap. So, medyo a little bit allowances for our students. Uh, ano yun? The time should also be limiting on that kind of activity that you have. If it's an online na nagtutulo ka, like using platform like FB Live or Zoom, that's fine. Uh, yung iba kasi, baka masyadong strain, may strain sa eyes. And then the other is hindi yung concentration ng bata. Baka sobrang distracting. So, try to temper also the activities that you have for the students. I've seen a lot of teachers, congratulations, ang, ang ginagawa nila is uh, hindi online completely activity but the students have to post pictures while they are doing an activity. That's also a good alternative to do. Uh, konting hinalinay po sa online kasi hindi lahat po ng sudyante natin may kakayahan. And um, magamit din nila in the same way that you want to use your time productively. Also give your students a little bit slack kasi at least ngayon, wala kayo nakikitang reklamo sa Twitter or sa Facebook na ang dami nilang ginagawa. Yung iba marami, pero at least nabawasan. Other, other things that you want to share po? Or other questions that you have? Other things that you want to... Any, any other questions before we actually uh, end po? Anyway, maybe share with us, share with you to, uh, other topics that you want to talk about other things that you have, then you will try to figure out this sharing screen online for the next time, mas, mas ma-share ko po yung nasayang. But I'll try to load the list and the PowerPoint that I prepared after this uh, live webcast. Yun po. Kasi yan, again, reminder as we end, kasi wala po nagtatanong, creativity takes away. So we have a lot, a lot of um, being creative things. Teachers are one of the most creative people in the planet. So, gamitin natin to take the courage to explore the thinking. And of course, yung ginagamit ko yung mga nakapaskil sa bahay ko, that is to be different. Doesn't mean na, na parang we do something differently, masama na siya. There are a lot of different Remember, change and development happens because we try to do something new. And we try to be a little bit different. So again, as committed because I can't share my PowerPoint with you, I'll upload it na lang po in the website also, yung mga to-do list or parang checklist of what you can actually do at home during this period. So, kasi pasensya na po because of the technical difficulty with you po after this uh, podcast kasi especially for those na hindi naagutan and for those who want to just read through it, then go po tayo. Other questions po before we kind of uh, our sharing for the dates. Sa ato po teachers, mag-share share kayo din. Ha? Yan. So, hi po dun sa teachers natin. So, again, let's try to encourage to all be productive during this time. Let's try to help them yeah, battle <laughs> sorry, props. Battle the, the boredom and battle the negativities that are happening.
concentrate on the things that we can do something about and not the things that we have no control over. It's good to release our opinions and our feelings about things. But a little bit time to slack, relax, sit down, and think about also some things that you can do in the confines of your home. So, kung nag, kahit nagsawa na kayong pumunta sa bathroom, still try to enjoy. And still try to enjoy the company of each one. So, yun, good na po tayo. Any other things before we end? Any other questions? So, as promised, I'll share in a PDF po, siguro, yung ating yung talk points because I wasn't able to share my PowerPoint with you. Any other, any other thoughts? So as, yun po. So yun ang, ang ating um, today. So all, again, for else, uh, that in mind, let's be creative during this time. Let's try to live our lives purposively. Let's try to love and do some things that we love. Let's try to learn uh, something new and relearn something new. And let's have a little bit fun. Because this is the time that we can distress and then look at the things that we kind of na hindi nagagawa natin during their busy time. But reminder, always be communicate and coordinate uh, properly uh, and with responsibility. Let's chat and communicate with our loved ones and the people that we care about. Uh, this too, quarantine this period of time will also pass. So gamitin na lang natin what we have. This is something we can control ourselves and our actions to it. So let's focus on that. Parang kita ko si Elsa. So we, sabi nga eh, we let go of the things, the negative things for some times in our life. And try to focus on the good things, the things that we can do during this time. So maraming salamat po sa ating mga viewers to sa, so from the other uh, different uh, teachers, uh, educators po. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa pag-view ng ating online feed. And I hope you all stay safe. I hope you all stay. We all stay healthy, because when this period is over, we hope that all of us can resume our um, lives soon. So, malaming malaming salamat po. And hiding po sa mga patigapang patigapanggasinan and also yun po. Saludo po ang kami ng lahat sa inyo. Saludo po ang teachers. We may not be front trainers, but we we respect them. And then say a little prayer po sa ating front trainers. At say a little prayer po sa ating sa at not just for the front trainers, but for everyone as well. Yes. Um. Wait lang po. Before we go, is there a situation extended or opportunities with it? Yes. Kasi po um opportunities, it's a time also for us to re revisit how we teach and how we learn. So, para din sa ating mga educational administrators and educational leaders, this time, if it becomes extended, is a time for us to reflect on what we can do uh, to improve our education. It's time for us to revisit. Kasi kung mas ma-extend ito, like sabi nga niya, six months, then it's a time for us to really look back. Is what are we doing and teaching our kids properly? And it starts with us. So as we prepare for this, parang as an educator, don't think na wala tayo magagawa. Because we are in the front lines. When the school comes back, tayo naman ang nasa front lines. Tayo naman ang may burden to teach our, go back to re-educating our kids. And we will use our experiences during this period to teach and educate our students. So first of all, we educate ourselves. We teach ourselves what needs to be. So, para yun, para sa atin lahat. So, that issue now is challenge to each and one of us. The challenge is actually for us to be productive or to be happy, at least, during this particular time. So, maraming, maraming salamat. I'll try to share the PowerPoint na hindi ko po na flash because of difficulties. And thank you so much uh, to all our teachers. Stay safe po. Mother, we'll all pray for all of this to be over. And then, let's also take this opportunity to 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 live, to learn, to love, and to laugh. So thank you very much.